we will slowly recover from the shock of what will happen to all companies online and offline with the opening of own passive to the world we stopped off at social media platforms like facebook like all the rest of these platforms the way they have been making money is that they are selling the personal data of their clients to the highest bidder we have done that for decades on passive will not be taking any data and selling it to the highest bidder it starts out with the ceo of own passive ash mufare he has taken known passive to a level that will not be reached by any other company what a disruption of what we have been doing for decades upon decades now this man of integrity we now must compete against it is not fair but it will be fair to the users of our products for decades we have formed a monopoly on all the products that our users have been using now there's competition the competition lies in our competing against other companies using and selling the products that own passive is marketing only their products are better the difference is that our business models have been surpassed by own passive's business model own passive is a privately held company ash mufari is sharing his wealth with the founders in own passive that's extraordinary we are stuck We are going to see many other social media platforms disappear because why would someone want to be a part of something that would have their personal data sold and their privacy exposed to strangers? On passive has its own data center. It has a social platform that is at no cost to its users. It is called Onet. Onet is going to overpower those other social media platforms, creating a company unselfishly the way Ash Mufare has structured own passive to be brilliant. The other, the social media platforms, must make as much money as possible because own passive is going to take a massive amount of business away from all these social media platforms. Wow. Now, what about the video conferencing that is number 1 called Zoom? Zoom has formed an incredible market because it filled the need that was created when the pandemic started. They did about 2.8 billion dollars last year. The global video conferencing market size was estimated at 6.28 billion US dollars in 2021 and is expected to reach 7.71 billion US dollars in 2022. According to Fortune Business Insights, the global video conferencing market size is projected to reach 14.58 billion US dollars in 2029. We were sitting back and saying, "Wow, what an incredible source of income. No one would ever be able to even approach what Zoom is doing." But we, CEOs, saw the flaws in Zoom. First of all, there was a limited amount of people who could connect to Zoom when it came to video conferencing. If you wanted more, you had to pay an expensive rate. We were using Zoom to do a lot of our business because the pandemic struck and a lot of companies had been leaving the brick and mortar business and having the employees work at home. But guess who was paying attention to what was happening with Zoom? Ash Mufare, that's who. On Passive developed a platform that is rivaling Zoom. On Passive to call the negatives that made Zoom unattractive out of its product. On passive as we speak now has a product called Do Connect. We do not know very much about this platform because there is not enough information. What we have been able to hear is that Do Connect will overtake and take most of the business when it comes to video conferencing. That's all we know. Warning to all of those video conferencing companies watch out for Own Passive and Do Connect. We thought that this day would never happen, but it is going to. Is it too late to be a founder of Own Passive? We heard that it is too late but Own Passive will open its doors to customers and resellers.